All right, here's a quick intro tutorial for Dropbox. Um, the My most preferred way to send people files or have people download something and share easily. Um, you can do it over Skype, you can send attachments with emails, that type of stuff, but this is just simple and works great. Um, go to dropbox.com, simple, and then just download Dropbox. You'll have to sign up, so fill in probably your email and your name and all that stuff. It's not very intrusive or anything. You don't have to pay for anything. It's free. And then once you download it and install it, then in your um, in your computer somewhere, there will be a file called Dropbox or a folder called Dropbox. And then on the Mac, it pops up here as well. So you can go into it here. And you have the public folder and the photos folder. I am I probably will never use a photos folder, but I always go into the public folder. And here is all the things that I have been sharing with people. These two have been um, with Zito, and it was just easy to have them download it real quick. But if you want to download, or me to download something from your Dropbox, Grab your folder. In Mac it's really easy. You just compress whatever folder or file it is and then it will zip it. For Windows you'll probably need WinZip or some program to zip the folder. So dot .zip. It needs to have that extension. And then you just drag it on in and it will have that blue icon saying it's syncing. And then once it turns green then you are synced up with your Dropbox folder and you can access this file or zip um, folder anywhere. I've got the app on my iPhone and I can access my Dropbox folder from my iPhone even. Um, it is a great uh, alternative. And this is the way I want you guys to use to send me your maps and worlds um, for me to review or do whatever with. Um, so I would get your texture pack that you used and the map you want to send me put them here I'll go to my Minecraft folder so I'd grab your folder your world and whatever texture pack you're using and then just select all both of them and right click and either drag them to your WinZip in Windows or just right click on both of them when they're both selected and compress them even though this one's already compressed and that should work great um, the reason I tell you to zip them also is that it is easier to download when you have an audio file I just found out and just have the audio file in there then it comes up with you need this program to download or you need to have this certain software to see this item or something but if you do this way when you right click and go to your Dropbox um, submenu then go to copy public link now that little thing I just made you can go into a website and come on load up for some reason Firefox is quite slow on my computer and just paste in that link and voila it'll bring up this and you can save the file and it works like magic if you've downloaded my texture pack that's how it worked so you can just put a zip folder in your Dropbox and then wait for it to turn green go into your Dropbox menu copy the public link you can paste that into a personal message and send it to me um, so that I can download it or you can give it to friends so that they can download something um, and then if you don't want something synced to your account online just take that out and it will uh, delete the folder online and you're good to go I hope this um, was informative and helped you guys uh, this is the way I want you guys to send me things and I hope that you guys find other uses for this because this is a great little program but thank you guys for watching and 
please send me your maps and texture packs. I would love to see them.